Um, well, my first question is, because they will find me and tie me up if I don't ask you about Stydia in 6B. So, what can you tell us about Stydia in 6B? Um, without spoiling too much. Um, I can tell you there's some fun scenes uh, with um, Styles, Lydia, and Jackson. And it's an awkward reunion. Oh, I bet. <laughs> That's all I'll tell you. Okay, thank you. <laughs> What I else? see we get a glimpse of Maya and Scott in the... Malia. Malia. Scott. Yeah, Malia yes. and Scott. Um, she... What was the decision to do that? Because that kind of came out of left field. From the yeah. I think it comes out of left field because you guys don't see the progression in the season. Um, it's a trailer moment for sure. Uh, but you'll see how it grows. Uh, and it was really me sitting around with the writers saying, all right, what relationships have we not explored here? And what would be meaningful as opposed to just throwing two people together? You know? And um, we sort of tested it out in 6A, a few different moments, and you'll see where it goes. Um, I like it. It's one of the more interesting, for me, it was a fun relationship to play this season. So, and it has a, a nice mission. They're, they're really good together, Shelly and Tyler. They right. love working together. So, we'll see if the audience likes it. What can At you a certain tell point, you can't, you can't worry about the, what the audience is going to say. Oh, yeah. You have yeah. to sort of go with your own gut on, on uh, writing these things. What can you tell us about the villain for 6B? It's been the pretty. It's very mysterious. mysterious. There's always two villains in Teen Wolf, I say. One is the brute force villain and one is the intellectual guy. So the brute force villain is the mystery. And that one is, that villain capitalizes on fear. Uh, the other one is uh, played by uh, Sibangle, uh, and she is phenomenal. She is utterly wonderful and a beautiful human being, a joy to work with, and she, I think she really relished playing a villain role. And she is a villain you understand. You completely understand her motivation. Um, those are the best ones to, to play and write, I think. The ones who clearly uh, come from a place of, of uh, well, if I was in her situation, I might do the same thing. Right. Um, or I might have the same thing. Uh, and she is a new hunter uh, who Gerard sort of takes under her wing. Uh, so sees a uh, certain bit of raw natural talent in her. Um, and it is a kind of rise of the new hunters in Beacon Hills. So Scott and his friends become pariahs again, they become outcasts. And uh, we'll see how they do. So we know Derek is coming back. Yes. Um, is there any chance that we'll know more about Brayden or their relationship? I'll say uh, Megan was one of the few people that I couldn't get back this season that I wanted to. There was a point where we were reaching out to her managers and her managers were saying she's not available this week or this week but she might be available for two days here and Megan was texting me saying no that's not true I'm actually available all this week and that week and I was like it's too late now oh my god <laughs> um, so it's because she's on another show and um, she's been doing great she's been doing really well um, I love Megan Tanny I hope I can hire her uh, we can work together on something else she's, she's such a good person such a good friend so unfortunately she she and a couple others um, because of scheduling conflicts couldn't come back like I wish I could have gotten my hands on Daniel Sean and, um, and brought him dragged him back up from Mexico where he was shooting Fear the Walking Dead to do at least one one scene for us but it's hard they're all talented people who are working if you could describe how fans would feel after watching the final episode in just one word, what do you think that would be? Satisfying. I, when I watched the last scene, if I thought to myself, okay, this is this feels like a series for now. Uh, because a lot of, and that's one of the hardest things to do as a writer, is like wrap things up in a very satisfying way. Uh, doing the doing the season finale is always extremely stressful for me because I was trying to wrap so many storylines up and and but I the last scene of the show feels like a really good ending to the series. It carries forward mostly because it carries forward the message of the show. So you'll see.
maybe you'll tell me you were completely wrong. <laughs> I'm unsatisfied. I'm entirely unsatisfied. <laughs> um, and if you could bring one character back to life out of the whole show's history, who would you bring That's back? That's Jennifer. <laughs> I'll freely admit it was a mistake to kill her. <laughs> Well, also because Haley is such a good person, uh, and she's one of those people you want to bring back to set because you enjoy having her there. And she's such good energy, such good. Energy. What else? Is there anything you can tell us about the new the new anthology? Like that's you know? still very, uh, very much in uh, very new in, in talks, but it would be something similar to like the way. Uh, you listen to S Town or Homecoming. Um, I'm still talking to Chris McCarthy, the new president, about it, and uh, talking to podcast producers. I think it could be really fun. I love the podcast section. So I mean, listen to them. Really, mm -hmm. I was listening to one on the way down here, and it's addictive. It is. So yeah. it's a fun way to, to do a different style of story. It's like radio dramas. And you can't. I I I listen to audiobooks all the time. And I listened to all, I didn't read the Harry Potter books. I listened to Jim Dale narrate them. They're amazing. If you if you love the Harry Potter books, go listen to them. Okay. Um, and in the whole show's history, whether alive or dead, or whether they were ever together or not, who are two people you think would have been great together or should be together as a couple? You know, after. I don't know, actually. That's a good question. Um, I wonder. <laughs> back to me on that. I'll give you my email. <laughs> later tonight I'll be I'll say to myself, oh my god, why didn't I say this? You'll just, just tweet it out later. Yeah. I don't have a Twitter. Well you can do it on the <laughs> team both one. I could do that. Yes. Uh, wrapping up? Yes. Alright, I'm done with you guys. <laughs> Thank you.